Hello everyone, in this video we're going to focus on transformation of cube root function. Please remember that the parent equation of a cube root function is y equals the cube root of x. So that's 3 right there and that's x. And this is the parent graph of a cube root function. I would like to repeat, this is the parent equation of a cube root function and this is the parent graph of a cube root function. The reason why this is called a parent graph for the family of cube root function it's because every other cube root graph, so those graphs that look like this, is actually a transformation of this parent graph. So pretty much they're gonna look similar to this. It's going to have this shape, but instead in some other graphs they're transformed. That means they can go left, right, up, or down. They can get vertically stretched. Depends on what the value of A is, but pretty much they resemble the same parent graph as this. That's why we call this as the parent graph. The other graph would come from this shape, would be similar to this um, graph. Now, please remember that this point that we have right here, which is at 0, 0, is called the locator point for this cube root function. Now, please remember also that the graphing form of a cube root function is y equals a cube root of, that's gonna be, that's uh, 3, and then quantity x minus h, and then plus k. Okay, now please remember that this a, h, and k are uh, parameters. Well, the x and y are the variables. So if we're going to add all these parameters a, h, and k, so the graph is going to look like this. Now, uh, we keep the a to 1 and we change the h to 0. Now, look what's going to happen to this graph. So that's h is 0 and then the k is 0. So pretty much both the red and the blue graph are a match. That means whenever the a value for the uh, graphing form of a cube root function is 1 and the h is 0 and the k is 0, it matches up. It's actually, it, it actually becomes the parent graph. So pretty much the parent graph has an a value of 1 an h value of 0 and a k value of 0. Let's talk about reflection on the uh, cube root function. Please remember that if a is negative, the graph will be reflected across the x-axis. So pretty much it was flipped up and down. So the reflection is across the x-axis. Now if this quantity x minus h is negative, then the graph is flipped on the y-axis or it's flipped side to side. Now let's look at these three parameters here. Let's start with A. Please remember that if A is 1, then the graph matches to that of the parent graph. Now if A is 0, then the graph becomes a straight line. So if a is 0, the, for, for this um, value right here, for this graphing form, if a is 0, then the graph will become a straight line. Now what happens if the absolute value of a is greater than 0 but less than 1? So if it's greater than 0 but less than 1, so these are the values that are greater than 0, less than 1, so the graph is vertically compressed. Pretty much it becomes wider. Now if the value of a is on the other side. If we take the absolute value of this, it's still wider, but instead it was reflected on the other side since A was negative. Now what happens if the absolute value of A is equal to 1? Then pretty much it resembles that of the parent graph. So if that's 1, it resembles that of the parent graph. Now what happens if the absolute value of A is greater than 1? So if the absolute value of A is greater than 1, it becomes vertically stretched. So it's like being stretched up and down. So the graph is stretched up and down. So the greater the value of A is, then it becomes vertically stretched. Pretty much if the value of A is 0, then the graph is a straight line. And if the value of A goes away from 0, farther and farther from 0, then the graph slowly 
stretches vertically so it's being uh, so it's gonna be vertically stretched or it, it gets skinnier now on the other side it's the same thing so if the graph gets farther from zero towards the negative side it becomes skinnier or it becomes um, vertically stretched now let's look at the effect of H so if H is positive the graph moves to the right now, if H is negative, the graph moves to the left. Now, what about the K? So, if the K is positive, the graph is translated up. Now, so if the K is negative, the graph is translated down. So, these are the effects of A, H, and K to a cube root graph. That's it. If you find this video helpful, hit like and subscribe for more math videos. See ya!